Let's go. Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. My computer's in the way. And I'm too tall. Welcome back to the Theorist Gateway where I try to solve MatPat's ARG at rapid speed. Using nothing but my mind, this game theory sweet ass notebook and your help in the comments on YouTube and here on Twitch. So here's what went down, guys. Uh, yesterday, that stream is now up on YouTube. You can watch The Heartbreak. It's me struggling through this maze. Uh-oh. Sorry, backup chat just went up. Uh, it's me struggling through uh, this insane maze that I've marked here. Let me bring the maze up for you guys. Boop. There's the first floor. There's the second floor. There's the third floor. There's the fourth floor. I've been going through just trying to find these ways. We know it's 32 steps. We know where the start is. We know where the end is. And then I was trying to do this thing where I eliminated paths that don't make any sense and things like that. I went through this all again off stream because uh, the stream went very poorly. Went through it again. I ended up making a lot of the same conclusions. You see the numbers here. The numbers here are wrong. Uh, and then I basically failed again. Couldn't make it work. Uh, so I looked at one of the hints, and one of the hints revealed what the, the code is supposed to say. What the code is supposed to say is find the hexed value at the center of floor three. Okay? That's why... And, oh, and it says it backwards. So I figured out that this was F, and then I couldn't find the I in here, and then this is, you know, I was right up until this point here. Okay? So... I decided I was going to try to brute force it, okay? So, what I ended up realizing is... Let me make these viewable for everyone to see here. There's kind of a breakdown in the logic, in my opinion. Because let me show you why I could not solve this, all right? So I tried to brute force this, and what became, like, important to me was two letters, X and V, because those are two of the, like, rarer letters that are used in this phrase. Find the hex value, hex value. Uh, now, we were pretty sure we had found X. It was on floor two. Where's my do-do-do? Floor two. It was right here. It was on this shield. Now, and this is apparently the last spot that I was correct. Okay? So, every move that I made up until this point was correct. I came from floor one up these stairs to floor two. Here's the problem. If you go to floor three, which is here, there's a staircase here. But there's not a staircase up here. And then in searching for V, I found V was in this spot. Come here. Oh my god, why is this like this? I guess I accidentally moved this. There's a V at this this room right here. So, uh, this ends up being E, and this ends up being D, so that's the end of hexed. And then V is the value here. So the way that this works is I was supposed to go up from floor two to floor three at this spot. There's no staircase here. I don't know if the bit's supposed to be it's behind that giant man, but there is no staircase there. So that's why I never saw it. On top of that, I tried to make it work in my brain backwards. So, uh, let's see. You start on floor one. So, as we said before, the the password is find the hexed value in the center of floor three. So there's a three right here. We know that this symbol is three. I'll bring up the alphabet. Three. There's a three in this hat. 
The next one needs to be an R for floor, R. Uh, so if you go up the stairs to floor two, you go up these stairs and what do you know? You put these together and once again, you get an R. So that's what we want, floor. So the next thing we wanted was an O for floor because that's how you spell floor. So you go to the third floor and you come up here and that's not really an O. Like maybe you could make that an O, but that looks more like an L. Right there. So I don't understand how I'm supposed to get floor out of this. I'm not sure. So there's something that I'm personally missing in how to do this. But I exhausted all of my efforts today off stream trying to figure out how to do this. And that's as far as I got. To me, I think something's broken. I honestly do think something's broken. MatPat was supposed to print a walkthrough video uh, before the next gate opens. And I, I really want to see his explanation of this because something's not working here. In any case, the code that we get, oops, that I'm revealing the wrong thing is find the hex value at the center of floor three. Went to floor three, we decoded this to be unturnnostone.com slash question mark. I've been doing this a lot at work, so it's clicked in my brain. This is just a weird color. It's not like a pool, it's not anything. So what I did was I have this eyedropper tool and basically any color that I scan, I can find the exact color it is. I can pick any pixel. And when I pick this pixel, guess what comes up? Badass. So I, of course, went to badass. Or unturned stone slash badass with the fives being ass. And look, I found this. Uh, so I didn't want to do arts and crafts live on the stream because I feel like that's a waste. Uh, so I have all the completed origami so far. This was step one, was this triangle thing. Step two, I still just have these as strips. I know I'm supposed to fold it up like this, but I don't know if I'm supposed to connect here or connect the two together. So I haven't done it yet. I have glue in the event of doing anything like that. Then we got this guy. This is our, our new thing. This is what I created here, which is one of the cooler ones, I think. And it looks to me like the next step will be, I'll face, yeah, I'll face this part at you. This is going to slip in here. And then I'm going to fold up those tabs and glue them underneath. And if you look, it completes the symbol here and completes the symbol here. I'm assuming, I haven't gone any further than this, uh, because I did, what I wanted to do is, Solve the thing that we spent too much time on, on stream, uh, off stream, so we can get past it, and do the arts and crafts. So that's basically as far as I've gone, except I did what I usually do, uh, and opened this in this image that's on screen. I opened it in a WordPad, and I found this. Uh, begin at the base 8 to the second power, uh, which would be uh, base 64. So I took that and put it into the translator. Base 64, I've copied and pasted it right here. Search for the stream for the grade that shares the same total number of gates, which is seven. And the title contains the darkest of dreams, which is nightmare. Begin where the two fours appear side by side uh, before the slash. Listen intently for 30 seconds of the key shall be revealed. So I took that to mean that for 30 seconds, we need to watch Mario Maker, uh, seventh grade nightmare, uh, at 22 minutes and 22 seconds. That's as far as I've gotten because I didn't want to do too much off stream, but I think I'm on the right path here. Uh, where is my chat? Just keep that up. Here we go. I'm looking good on my stream. All right, good. Let's have a listen. Literally the whole year had no clue what my name was, even though I was like obviously the over.
overachiever, like, nerd student who was like, I know the answer, I know the She actually gave me points off because I went above and beyond on a project. Like, seriously, I kid you not, like, oh, you got minus five points because you did more than what was required. What? It's like, thanks. Thanks, teach. I mean... Like, way to kill my enthusiasm for learning about Sir Francis Drake. Yeah, I still remember what the project... I think that's our answer. Yep. Sir Francis Drake. Drake, hotline bling. Boom. All right, so we're not even done this gate yet. This is not... We're like, we are behind. Let's get to this next key, which I'm assuming... Here we go. Oh! Interesting. Okay, so I was right, but we're going to turn this upside down. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, Elmer's glue. So that's what those little squares... Okay. Do, do, do. Just going to... I am going to do some arts and crafts on stream, it turns out. Now, I'll stick this through here. Like this. And we glue. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I did it right. <laughs> For a second, I thought I glued it the wrong way. And you can't unglue a glue stick. No, Elmer's purple is uh, no joke. Just gonna press these for a few moments here. All right, so I have a chalice now. Uh, I don't know why it never dawned on me that that's what these side pieces would be, but here we are. Uh, think this goes here? Does it go here? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know! Yeah, th this looks like this goes here more. Okay. Yeah, this makes more sense. Okay. Oh, the cap's already off this. All right, more glue. Going heavy on the glue on this one. Let me glue the other one, too. All right. Arts and crafts with Matt Pat. Arts and crafts on stream. Oh, ah, no. I don't think I put enough glue on it. <laughs> It's a little, well, a little heavy-handed on the glue on this part, and now there's purple everywhere. Oh my gosh! I think I missed glue on two of the straps in the, on the base, so this really wants to fall apart on me. See, told you. All right, let's let's add more glue here. And it, I know exactly where this is going to go on my desk. I'll show you guys my, my super cool desk in a moment. All right, now I'm, I'm covered in glue now. All right, make sure I don't fudge this up. That goes in. Go in. No, you want to go in. All right, take that, you goddamn glue stick. Right, get in there. All right. Just pushing on the glue sides here. What's up, Uke? Welcome back. 
Uh, you missed my explanation of uh, where we went wrong. Uh, it's really dumb. It's really dumb what went wrong. But I have since finished, and now I'm creating a paper trophy. If I'm going to show my desk, I'm going to like shittily clean it up real quick. All right. There we go. That's a, that's a lot of glue, and now it's a little crooked. But that's fine. All right. And now... Coup de gras. All right. Lots of glue, please. Glue stick. Ah. Uh. You guys have no idea what you sent me, by the way. I have no idea what uh, Denzi Darby means. I know you said English wasn't your first language. It's my only language, so I have no idea. <laughs> Which is such an American thing to say. Ah! Come on, get stuck. Stuck with glue. Stuck, stick with glue. Stick with glue. All right, then I'll just hold that here for a sec. All right. So there we have it. We have something here. This is my trophy. Uh, let's take some time and like try to decode what we have here glyph wise. Um, Still not enough glue on the bottom now. All right. Uh, yeah, you gave us a, a lot of hints. All right, so I have the trophy. I will always say at the beginning, Denzi Dog. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the alphabet. <laughs> Didn't mean to immediately cover you up there, Yuke. I'm realizing now that your name is not ukulele, but I've just decided it's ukulele. Uh, all right. So at the bottom here, we know this to be N, right? Let's bring up the scratch paper so we can make some notes here. I'll make it a little bit bigger for us. Don't need any of this jam anymore. So, N. I don't know what this would be. I guess J? That kind of looks like a J, right? Because it's just kind of a circle and, like, the breaks are kind of in there. Unless it's a zero. It's probably a zero. Zero. And then this one that looks like the half-life symbol. Uh, which is, I think, a number, another number, right? No, because it's open at the bottom. Yeah, it's five. Five, and then this guy's super complicated. I think this guy's another number. I think this is a four. It's really hard to see here. I'll try to. N, zero, five, four, and then we got to kind of do a witness puzzle for this. That's a J. Right? Because this is a four. Did we say this was a four? What was this? Yeah. Four J. Does that look like anything the other way around that I'm just dumb? J, four, five, zero, N. Nope, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me either. Okay, let's check out the other side here. Other side has what appears to be a three on the bottom of the the thing. That's, I would say this is a three right here. Three. Ow. Uh, and then coming up this way from the bottom, 
is, ooh, what is this weird broken thing? What is this weird broken thing? Where did I get the or that origami? Each piece of, of origami was part of uh, the end of every uh, step so far. Uh, this is... Uh, badass was the end of the maze that we did. This is the third piece of origami that we got. Uh, and I've since cut it up and printed it out. Uh, this got us to the key when basically each one of these you need to print out and cut out, but also open in a notebook editor and there's clues inside. Uh, so yeah, that's what, where that came from. So I don't know what this symbol is, dude. Do you like, That, yeah, this doesn't appear anywhere on this. It's one of the simpler... Do you, do you think it's a... The problem... I thought B2, but it's broken. Like... It's also, like, facing the wrong way. I guess I could turn it upside down, but it appears like... Like, even then, it doesn't look right. We're going to call it a question mark for now. Uh, then we got this guy underneath, which is a six. Uh, then it is, oh God, I don't think I did a good job gluing this guy. See that guy? I think that's an L maybe. This guy here. I'm going to call that an L. Uh, then there's like a piece on the inside that doesn't really have anything that matches it. And there's nothing else written on the trophy in terms of like, like there's nothing on this arm that completes that symbol. Unless I'm supposed to look at it from a different angle. I don't know anything that would match this guy. Oh, wait. This is an M. This is clearly an M. And I'm just an idiot. It's just slightly uh, skewed. But it's clearly an M. Okay. I feel a little bit better now. Uh, but this last one, it's like an L coming down. I'm trying to, there you go. It's like a backwards L and then just a swoopy part. Like the start of an F, maybe? Um, but it's broken. I don't see anything that looks like this. May it's it looks like actually it looks like the top of an N. Like if I if I brought this part in and then down and then this continued down that would be an N. But I don't see how I'm supposed to see an N from any angle of this. Oh, oh, I know exactly what this says. I don't get the jumbledness of it. Like, this came out so clean. I don't know how I'm supposed to... Because the three is the B. I think it's blame Jason. 
because that's like one of his uh that that's one of the the Matt Pat catchphrases on GT Live is blame Jason. Um I'm to I'm going to try writing it in English just blame I mean, I'm spelling blame right, right? Jason. That'll probably be wrong. All right. So according to my notepad, nope, I'm getting rid of this because I make that mistake all the time. J four five zero N and then this is I don't know why I got three M six L N it's like almost blame let me just go ahead and reveal this first hint let's see roll up your sleeves arts and crafts blah 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 No, all right. Looking through the hints because I think I got this right. You didn't think we'd really require you to own a printer. Oh, there's no printer, no problem version. All right. No. Printer, no problem. Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> what did I do? Printer, no paper, no problem. I didn't read all of it because I'm stupid. Imagine all the drama we would cause not to worry. You need only download that zip file and begin. Good luck. You'll need it. All right. I'll save this. I'm like, I'm guessing it's just a cleaner version of this. Uh, open. I want it save. I'll just click on it. There we go. Probably should have opened it, but whatever. Control J. Let's pull up this. There it is. Extract this. Can you please put this on my desktop? Thank you. Hey, God of War stuff. Desktop. Called the first pass would be GRST. Where you at? Where you at, dog? Did it just finish happening? Let me refresh. First path, here we go. I just want like a cleaner version to look at because like I could have just screwed up the. I'm going to tr also try using what we found because it was an L. I'm just going to spell blame Jason correctly. So L. A, what was the M? And hold on, I've, I've already completely confused myself by trying to do too much. 
Yeah, maybe it, well, maybe that's an E, no. What? Oh, we knew it was a B! You were the one that said it was a B. And I, I was like, I don't believe you. B, L, A, M, three. Blame, Jason. There we go. I downloaded that for nothing. Uh, I feels I feels dumb. I feels dumb, guys. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna set up my my trophy area real nice for you guys real quick, so you can see all my stupid stuff. Hold on, everything just fell. Mm -hmm. and this guy here, and wait, oh shit, hold on. Check out my goofy ass shrine. Uh. So this is where this is my silly desk, and this is this is OBS where I'm streaming all this stuff. But I got all my wrestling pop figures. That's Kurt Angle on a hoverboard, <laughs> the Million Dollar Man, uh, Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels. Now my paper trophy shell from Portal, and this is the origami thing from the Not Prawn Riddle that I decided to keep. But it's very dusty. So now I have a I have something new for the shrine. There we go. Return to Gates. We did it. Thank you, Yuke, for telling me that was a B. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. <laughs> there we go. Now, yeah, my camera's all screwed up now because I moved stuff. All right. Gate six. I got to do all this in the next 24 hours. <laughs> exactly 24 hours from now, huh? All right, cool. Let's enter the stream. Already hate it. <laughs> Already hate what's happening here. Chrono's childhood friend and inventor is blank. Pod plus blank tears and space continuum. Wait, pod and blank tear the space continuum. The blank self controversy principle solves. Hold on. Let me get you back. Solves the grandfather paradox in time travel. Okay. Uh, the blank blank wormhole is traversable through the wormhole held open by a spatteral. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I think what we need to do is answer these questions and then make our way through the maze. Because uh, the maze does not have a clear exit, right? It does... Well... Okay. It does have like an... Oh, there's an exit at all of these. Okay. Uh, so I know Meryl is the... Yeah, Mer Meryl is the first one because it's a uh, Chrono Trigger reference. So we'll start with M. M. <sighs> Meryl. All right, so then uh, Pod plus blank tears the space continuum. I'm just going to search that phrase. Tears the space continuum. I'm going to spell it terrible. Pod plus. Pod and something tears the space continuum. I don't get the reference. 
is and that's a, a huge problem is not getting the reference uh There's only, there's five letters that are being asked for. Oh, okay. So it starts with M. The blank self-consistency period. Solving the grandfather paradox in time travel. Let's try, let's also try that. Solves the grandfather paradox. Yeah, this, all right. If you say so, Google. The father and you're not born. And the natural result of these is a superposition of two states. Your grandfather is dead and your grandfather is alive. And so, at least from a logical perspective, this looping timeline is entirely consistent and there's no paradox. Mobius a strip. paradox free solution can be obtained. could try all of these answers. All right, let's continue watching that video. By viewing the problem as a steady state solution to a Markov chain, but I won't go to that here. Now, of course, nothing about these solutions to the grandfather paradox suggests that closed time loops are actually possible. In fact, some of the implications this kind of time loop have in the study of complexity theory seem to suggest that time loops, and thus time travel into the past, must be impossible. But the main point is sometimes we think a situation creates a paradox when it doesn't. And really the only paradox is how our thinking can be twisted enough to dream up time traveling murderous grandsons, but not twisted enough to think about twisting time. I want to say a big thank you to Google for Okay, supporting. that didn't seem to help anything. So and you're not born. New theory, okay? Uh, pod and blank tears the space con time continuum. Uh, let's, I, th I think this is still, uh, Chrono Trigger because she's wearing a, a, a pendant that lets you like go through. Uh, so let me just try pod and pendant. Pendant. And I'm going to spell pendant like an idiot. All right, that doesn't seem to work. But I, I, I still think it is pendant. I'm going to try the other one. Epoch. If you like Epoch, check out my episode of Opposite Worlds on Stay Doom Show. You can check that on in YouTube. Hmm, that was not enough information for me to clearly. Uh, Masserum? Massa Monoon. All right. <laughs> No, nope, that doesn't bring up anything. And then finally, the last one was, oh, God. E and E Artron. Right. E and E, E and E Artron. Right, did I spell that right? E and E Artron. All right. I still think it's pendant because I, I think it's referencing something from Chrono Trigger. Uh, let's let's just try it. I'm I'm so tired today. I'm sorry. Uh, and, so I'm thinking it's M A. M S doesn't really make sense. Uh, M R really doesn't make sense. M O does, but M A makes a word. M A. Uh, so let's try Z O L O T O V. Z O L O T O V. T O V. Grand. 
father paradox. Spelling that wrong. Okay, so nothing came up when I, I included that name. Let me write down the other freaking name so I don't have to go back and forth every time. It's M I R M O V I V A N O V or N O V I K O V. All right, so we're gonna just get rid of this word and just Google and see if anything comes up for any of these people solving this paradox. Yeah, S-M-I-R-M-O-V. Maybe it's an M. Doesn't help. All right. Just doing this. I V A N O V. Doesn't seem to include anything. N O V I K O. Boosh. All right. And for that one, it is V. So it's, I deleted stuff like an idiot. M question mark V. Uh, I'm just going to try these as words. Is it movie? Is IE a possible one for this? IR. Also IR. So I doubt that it, this is just the same thing twice. That's weird. OS or SH. So it's IR, OS, that doesn't even seem like a word, uh, or SM? Mm, I don't think it's this one because that doesn't seem to spell anything. I kind of want to say it's this one since these two are identical. It's weird that it would be. <laughs> Types of wormhole. Now let's do what we did last time and we'll just search these terms with different... Uh, so this is a Boris Horn. Let's see if this gets us anywhere. A Boris Horn wormhole. That didn't that doesn't seem to be anything. How about a Morris? Yeah, Morris is the one I think it is. Morris. Come on. I love brute force. Morris. T-H-O-R-N-E. Morris Thorn. All right, Morrison Thorne. All right, so this seems to be right. And then the ones that are lit up are O and S. S, if this is, if it's pendant, it's an A. That looks like a word to me. This doesn't, this doesn't, unless Mr. Voss. Uh, this could be. Uh, we're just gonna brute force because fuck it, I'm annoyed. <laughs> But Mavros is my idea. Okay. 
I'm saying it's not my, is it Mr. Boss? Is it a no? Okay, I might have fucked up somewhere. Unless it's an S, because that's the, that's the one I'm not sure of. It's definitely not Frog and... Oh, wait. It is Lukia. Meryl's the princess. I'm an asshole, guys. And Lavos is a Chrono Trigger reference. I'm sorry, everyone. I thought it said Lucas. I was like, Lucas is wrong. The key is Meryl. Oh, my God. God. Do I need to print this shit again? Like, what's... Hold on. Wait, download Gate 6 Master. Okay. Save. What did that save as? Gate 6 Master. Alright. Let's see if I can find that. Hopefully it's saved to my freaking desktop. Have these stupid maps I don't need anymore. Open this. ABCDFG gate six key. That's not here. Is it in my Where are you? <laughs> Gate. <laughs> yeah. Open this in location. I just want to see where you are. You're in my downloads. Okay. Move you over there. Where are you at? Already lose you? What the hell happened? In my downloads, I go gate. There you are. Gate six, master PDS. No, I want to. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to use whatever app just popped up. I, no. Can I just not open you with... Alright, stop. <laughs> I want to open you... Stop. I just want to open it using GIMP. Can I use GIMP? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Alright, so the... Mmm. <laughs> okay. Search 3D objects. No. Search downloads. Gate. Okay. I don't need you open anymore. Don't need you open anymore. Uh, where are we? Don't need this crap. I want to move this onto my desktop so I can freaking see it then I'm gonna use GIMP to open it there's the thumbnail for today's video or yesterday whatever uh, file open on my desktop please gate this is on my other screen I'm sorry Open. Okay. It's happening. Okay, so this what we got going on here. We have a uh, Wi-Fi symbol. We got a clock. We have the sorting hat. And we have Bendy. Make this bigger. Bring the chat back. There you are.
Okay, let's see what we got going on here. My favorite game ever. I think he loves Chrono Trigger. Big time. Uh, it looks like we have another language of some sort. Like mm, Slipping through time. And then, oh. This is this. Okay. Copy image. Bring up this gimp thing again. I'm going to try to stick it right in there. Uh, layers. I remember I found the way to have the freaking layer, like, so I could see the different layers, but don't remember how to do it now. Uh, control V. Uh, why? Control Z. Get rid of that. Okay. Layers. <laughs> New layer. Okay. Control V. Why are you behind things? I'm so bad with this freaking program. Okay, I got an idea. Control V. So there it is. We just can't see it, which makes me think it's behind it. So can I like... Move it. Like, can I make it go up a layer? No? All right. Control Z. <laughs> Get rid of it. Just kind of hitting stuff now. Okay. Filters, windows. Here we go. Thank God. All right. Hidden, don't look. All right, so that's the background. Interesting. Those are on that. Don't know what that is. That gets rid of the chrono trigger. Hey! Do this to all layers or fail. Okay. Frigo! What's up? So, let me make this smaller again. That's that. I don't see what... Okay. Get that that's the chrono trigger layer. layer and I get this layer. I don't know what these layers are. I might have accidentally created them, or they're there for me to paste onto. Uh, so, let me look at this thing again. Do this to all layers or fail. Multiply. It sucks because I'm not using the program that MatPat suggested. Which makes me want to just kind of go download it. 
I might just have to do that. Yeah, you know what? As annoying as this is, I'm going to download this program. Because you know what? I hate GIMP. I really do hate GIMP. And if there's a better program that I can use, I'm just, I should just use it. There it is. Where'd it go? Why is this going forward still? No, back. Photo P, that's what we want. Oh, do I not even have to download it? Can I just use it in here? Open from computer. Well, this is the best day ever. <laughs> there we go. Uh, layers. View. Show. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna full screen this. So I, uh, I got backup chat up. So I can still see you guys talking. Yay, adventure indeed. Uh, but I don't have you guys on screen at the moment. Chrono trigger. Yes. Okay. Here's there's the layer thing that I wanted. Okay. So you said do this to all layers or fail. So let's multiply. Multiply is what it said. I will do this to all layers as instructed. I do this. Select pixels. What the hell am I doing? Can I? Hold on. All right. Now the only thing I've done is open. Background. Multiply. Multiply. Can I not do it for this one? It's there. It is. Multiply. Well, oh, I shouldn't have touched it. Okay, control C. Undo that. Okay. Uh, can we zoom in, please? Okay, so control plus plus. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. So, ooh, it looks like there are two spots that are missing. All right, we don't need this anymore. Magical pendant, it says that right there. Let me try to copy this image, copy image. So it looks like it fits right in there, so let me does fit right here but I think my copy and paste is not going to no let's actually download this I'll save it to the desktop missing piece a so there's another missing piece somewhere which is pretty clear uh, file open layer can I do that 
Or open from URL. Jeez. New. Layer. Just want to open something that's only on that layer. Can I do that? I don't know. Duplicate layer, duplicate style, fill, blah, 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 clipping, blah, 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 arrange, merge down, flatten image. Okay. If I just go here to my desktop, I, this will probably not work, but hey. Missing piece, missing piece A was what it was called, right? Element OP. Hmm? You there? Missing piece? Missing piece A. Can I just do this? Apparently I can. This program is great. Oh my god, if it's gonna fit perfectly already, like. Uh, where did it go? On, please. There we go. Thank you. Uh, just for safety's sake, I'm going to do this. That's what it told me to do. Uh, and now I guess we should zoom in and see what we've created here. Uh, control plus plus plus. What the hell? No, no. Thank you. Sheesh. Can I, can I scroll around? No, nope, don't want to move stuff. Just want to look around. Right, control Z, uh, there we go. There's like a, yes, all right. All right, so this looks pretty good. Uh, so 18, I don't think I got this to line up perfectly. Yeah, let's try to get this to line up very nicely here. There we go. So magical pendant, time gate, and that appeals, and then there's like, there's more symbols here. I, oh, god damn it. The symbols all equal shit. Just look over here, it's what. No, cause. I don't get what I'm supposed to be looking at here. All right, let's take time travel to the future is possible. All right, there's got it. My name is not Jim. That's not Earthworm Jim. No, wormholes have nothing to do with earthworms other than to provide adorable visuals. That were for pod and magical pendant equals torn time in the space continuum. There's like part of a broken time thing. Oh, there looks like there's a third missing piece here. But if time travel to the future were possible, would... All right, so something's broken there. All right, so we got to find what these pieces are. I don't... I don't get this at all. Because it seems to be the same letters over and over again. 
but there's also these symbols like a a and this is like p p p p and it seems to be like a math problem maybe with like minuses i don't know i don't know there's a pickle all right so let's take some time and like think about what we have here uh we haven't opened these images up in a word document in a notepad which Matt Pat loves making me do. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't even know if these will work. All files. We're on the desktop. Missing piece A. Open this up. Let's see if there's any hidden code in here. Gobbly gobbly gook. Whole lot of nothing. Interesting. See, some of these symbols I do see in the other code, which is very confusing. I see that there, and then if we go back into this, like, there's that symbol. That's why I'm thinking those little emoji things equal uh, something. Because this symbol here is this symbol here. All right. A lot of good things to consider here. All my hints are available. Oh, I could have just watched his video and gotten all the answers of this. <laughs> Yeah, apparently this is not all that hard. Is this... Hold on. No? Did I spell it wrong? Am I dumb? Oh, the key is... God damn it, it says it right there. I'm so dumb. I'm trying to solve something. I don't have all the puzzle pieces. Uh, angry. Angry emotions. Uh. It said it on the screen. Why? Looking for stuff that isn't there. Like, I'm so sad. Make sure I spelled that right so I don't freaking... <sighs> Boom. Next key. Let's keep going. We got another maze. Harry Potter isn't the chosen one. All right, I guess we're going to just watch a MatPat video here. I'm tempted just to get the friggin' clues and get it, but whatever. All right, Basculus, uh, Dementor, or Snape. All right, let's go. Bring the chat back. Dove, I don't want to advertise for you. Just saying I don't want to, but I'm gonna. Here it is. Dove. A proud sponsor of MatPat. The wizarding world needed a hero. They got the wizarding hero they deserved. Or the wizarding hero they thought they needed. They thought they needed to deserve. The one they thought they wanted to deserve. Ah, screw it. They got Batman. Batman effects. The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches, born to those who have thrice defied him, 
born as the seventh month dies. And the Dark Lord will mark him as his equal, but he will have power the Dark Lord knows not. And either must die at the hand of the other, for neither can live while the other survives. The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord will be born as the seventh month dies. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film Theory! It's like Game Theory, but with one small difference. I'll let you figure out what it is. Now, if that prophecy sounded familiar, that's because it's the big reveal that comes at the end of Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, the fifth in the series of books, movies, and... Ugh video games about the young orphan who gets whisked off to Hogwarts Wizard School with his friends Ron and Hermione to find out that he's destined to save the world. Honestly, I never got the hype. The fifth book was always my least favorite. Too much of old HP whining about being special. Oh, suck it up. Anyone would love to have magical powers. So you're different. Get over it. But I will say the fifth movie was my favorite in the franchise. Whew, that final uh. weird battle, I could watch that for Days. And yet, whether I Goblet of Fire. hated it, I never got the hoopla around this prophecy thing. Yeah, yeah, Harry Potter's the chosen one. He's the one that's gonna have to kill Voldemort. Big surprise. Like, did we really learn anything here? No. We just had a nice filler book to kill off some of the big characters and then transition to some of the darker installments. It always felt like such an anticlimactic reveal. Well, at least it did, until I started thinking about it. We've all assumed that it was Harry the prophecy was talking about since, you know, it's his name on the book covers, movie posters, and tidy whities What if it was all a cover-up, a ruse, a brilliant PR campaign to take the attention off the other boy who lived? Yeah. A true hero. Never would have done it in five books. This prophecy wasn't just a no-duh moment, but instead a clue hidden out in the open for us terrible fans about the identity of the true hero of Hogwarts. Sound crazy? Well, let's break down the prophecy. We know that the Dark Lord refers to Voldemort, the evil wizard with the unfortunate nose job. But the rest of this thing is really unclear. We know that the one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord must have been born to those who have thrice defied old nose slits over here. Okay, well, Harry seems to fit. Okay, so just real quick, he said Order of the Phoenix was his favorite, and then Voldemort popped up. Maybe we already missed the first one. A moody you, Styles. Uh, I'm gonna look at the clue, which should have unlocked by now. No, I gotta wait another damn minute. My neighbors, my new neighbors are moving in. They're very loud. I hopefully, hopefully you guys can't hear them. All right, Lily and James have now both come up, and they're they're up here. I don't know what I'm trying to do is the issue I'm having. Like I don't see like I have given I've been given this video and this like set of directions, but. I could try to brute force it again, or I could just wait and take the first clue. Because, like, it's easier. <laughs> like, I know that the big puzzle's going to be whatever this is, so I just kind of want to get to it. Can you solve the maze? You need to look deeper. There's a tip hidden unseen with the Naked eye. All right, so they want me to download this fucking thing. Uh, view image, please. Save image as. Gate six. Gobble, 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 gobble. Save. Hey, Gimp, you're up again. Desktop. Gate six. Open. All right, let's futz with this. Brighten it up like it's not. Turn off the contrast here. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
There's like weird circles. That's weird, right? <laughs> These weird circles kind of pop up when I do that. Doesn't really give me an answer though. All right, cancel this. Uh, let's screw with some color, shall we? What if I hue this up? Hue to you. Doesn't do much. I uh, add some lightness. Or some darkness. Just kind of changing the colors here. I'm not really getting anything out of this. Now it's in black and white. Isn't that great? Uh, play with this already. Um, yeah, there's the weird circles again. Something, something suspicious about that for sure. Uh, let's also open it up in a notepad. We haven't tried that yet. Sorry, I'm responding to a text as well. There we go. All right, file open, gate six. Gobbledygook. Anything hidden at the bottom of this? Anything hidden at the bottom? Hello, the unchosen one, Cronus Childhood. Did I? I think I might open the wrong one. That was weird. Key two. Maybe I opened the wrong one. What just happened? Yeah, that's that. Let's see. Maybe I could have just screwed it up. Let's see. Let's try it again. Open. <laughs> no, this is exactly what I opened. That's weird. Why would... Why would the previous gate's clues That doesn't make a lot of sense. That doesn't make any sense. I'm getting closer to it tries to refocus. That doesn't make any sense. Why would that be there? And as always, I'm just going to get the other clue. <laughs> oh, God, it's taking forever. You'll need to look even deeper, and this one not with... Okay, yeah, it... 
it's heavily implying that the clue is here. Is there ever this little... The Unchosen One. Like, am I supposed to look at the past one and pick the letters that were not used? This doesn't make any goddamn sense to me right now. Let me, like, hold on. I, I have a thought. Get on with it, Matt. Right. 30th. Alright, so let it, the unchosen one would be Neville. So if his is on the 30th, we're going to work backwards here. We're saying that this is going to end with L. Right? James and Lily are the parents of Harry. So we would take Alice and Frank. So let's go NEL, because that's that's the end letters here. Uh, maybe I am supposed to start from this way. All right, this makes sense. Keep going, Matt. Got it. Why am I doing this backwards? So we're just going down the maze. So the next would be whatever this part is. I'm going to guess it's Trevor because I know what the rest of these are. Continue. So as the only 
Okay. Alright, let's just use Harry Potter knowledge real quick. And we'll, we'll do both, right? So, Neville is born on July 30th to Frank and uh, Alice here. So we got Len. If we were doing the Harry Potter route, though, it would be Y-I-S. Right? Uh, Hedwig is definitely Harry's animal, right? Scabbers is uh, Ron's, and Fang, I believe, is uh, Hagrid's. So that leaves Trevor. So V. Nagini, Voldemort, Beatrix, and Malfoy. I don't know what those all have in common. Nor do I know what Unicorn, Phoenix, Kilpul, and Salamander have in common. But Dementor and Snape have a Harry... Uh... So let's just do this. Snape do have a, uh, a similar thing in that those are the greatest fears when they see a bogger. Harry sees a Dementor, and Neville sees Snape. Uh, almost a word so far. Um, Nagini is Voldemort Snake. Voldemort's evil. I mean, Voldemort is the one that tortured his parents. I don't really see a link between Beatrix and Neville, nor do I see one between Nagini and Neville. I don't know where my Harry Potter nerds at. Uh, I'm trying to like create uh, analogies. Like, you know, Hedwig is to Harry as blank is to Neville. Unicorn Phoenix, oh, I got nothing when it comes to those. If you can't figure out the answers, you didn't watch the video. Pro tip, it ain't Aunt Harry. Okay. Harry Potter is the chosen one, but the unchosen one, that's Neville Longbottom. Oh, you're making me want, I don't, I just don't want to watch the video. Trying to avoid this. Harry, according to the prophecy, is the 
chosen one. Neville, according to the prophecy, is also the chosen one. Think about it. We just went through all the reasons either can fulfill a prophecy. There's nothing so remarkable about Harry that makes him more... Don't know what the plant thing is. Come to die. Okay, that's helpful information. I. Uh, we're, let's. I'm gonna do a fucking brute force because I don't give a shit right now. I don't. I don't give a shit. Uh, let's just pick a random letter. Um. There's two O's. E. Let's use let's do E. L E N V I E S A. Is that is that a word? Does that mean anything to anybody? Oh, am I spelling Liviosa? I'm just spelling it fucking wrong. I don't get how it would be Liviosa. But it does look like that's what I'm spelling. Oh, it was Livy. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I'm spelling this wrong, too. Suck. Fucking God damn it. Just such an idiot right now. There it is. Let's go ahead and save this image to the desktop. Not what I wanted to hit. Save image. Missing piece X. Uh, 
How did I do this before? Why is this zoomed in again? No. Oh, this is because I did. Okay, there we go. Make this big again. Uh, anything in the chat? Why is no chat hasn't been active? That's fine. Just send a real quick reply as I do this. Where is my folders? Go back to the desktop, refresh this, and we're going to drop this right in place. There we go. Boop. Where, where, where'd you go? Where, where, where'd you go? Is it on here? Oh, I know what I did. Okay, hold on. Oh, you should be on top. Why aren't you on top? Where are you? says you're here I don't see it anywhere on the screen it should be the only visible thing right now everything back on except for this one Try it. I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> see, see if just something weird happened. Uh, huh. Seriously, where the fuck is it? Oh, did I not? Right, let me do this. Where? Why isn't it not? Why is it? Why? Why is this happening? <sighs> Why is this happening? Okay. Delete this again. Ready? Now, there's nothing on the screen right now, so I should be able to just freaking see this if I paste this into this area. I'm getting so frustrated. Why? Where is it, though? Ah! Alright, guys. I'm an idiot, and I apologize. Oh, and now there's two of them. <laughs> God damn it. I don't need that one now. Uh, I don't need this one ever. Delete. Uh, turn everything back on. Stop being so goddamn angry. <laughs> okay. And now we do this. That does not fit. Oh, this is super weird. 
Because this is talking some... This is like Neville real big. Like... It doesn't fit here either. There's like a big part of a face that I don't have. Oh, now I'm now I'm back to being fucking baffled. Oh. Okay then. Guess we'll save this image as well. Can I? What's this thing I think I can do here? Can I add a new one of this? Uh, Harry. Great. Good. Good, this is working. Um, okay. This is very confusing now. I did save this, right? No, don't. Okay, I saved it. All right, so we're going back into this. Where's my freaking thing again? Go to the desktop, Harry. Cool, all right. So then we'll do this because it told me to. We'll also add the other thing. That looks like it's the wrong size. <laughs> but you, okay. Wait, before I do that. <laughs> I want how uh, scale. Can I scale? Control Z. Z. I'll get out of this. Okay, starting over. Because the first thing I could do was scale, and that's what I want to do. See how I have the the scale options now. Hold Shift. I believe that'll keep it from. Yeah. Altering too much. It's too big still. this all right and we'll go ahead and do the thing it tells me to do for some reason the multiply thing there we go 
All right, and now let's zoom in because those, not the part I want to zoom in on. All right, switch to the hand thing. I know those symbols. Uh, I think I didn't line them up perfect, but we're going to try. Weird S thing. I didn't, I didn't do a good job lining them up. Oh, God damn it. Seriously. These might not, these might not even be the symbols. Uh, let's get out of here. Hold on. Do you see this? There's like a weird, like they're already auto-completed. Yeah, that they're already there. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, so I could just line them up perfectly. Okay, let's zoom out a bit so I can make this the right size. How do I scale again? God damn it. So, wait, go back to this. Go back to this, this, this. This. Yeah, they're they're right here. But I don't, they don't really match any of the symbols here, do they? Oh, wait. They do. They're just sideways. It's E, starting bottom up, E. Something E. Do that R. E. T. T. What's that goofy one? Is that a V? It's a V. Everett? Is that all we're looking for here? Everett? Cool! All right, making some good freaking headway. Next key. Gee, he's not fucking around this time is he all right let's let's try to finish uh let's try to fix this because i think i think i know what i'm doing wrong uh in this all right we're gonna close it completely and now i'm going to do a file open So this will come up as in its correct format now. And what I will do is now add this the way I've been adding the other ones. And it should come up scaled correctly. So now I can just take this and stick it where it's supposed to be. All 
All right, we're cool. Unturnstone, gate six, key three. Gate six, key three. Uh, what was it? Dot something, right? Dot PSD. Yes, I'll save this file, please. This is suspicious. I, like, I don't trust this. I'm guessing there's something in this picture that I'm missing. How many clues? There's only three clues. All right, we'll see. Uh, file open. Oh, I gotta refresh this. Refreshed gate. No, oh, where'd it go? Did you not, did I not save it to the right spot? Hold on, hold on, I might have fucked up. Where are you? Are you in my downloads? Is that what's up? You're in my downloads. Okay, you can go over here into download land. Ah. Uh. Open uh, my downloads, which I'll put over here so there's no sensitive information from my downloads. Gate. There it is. I'll be opened. You're a douchebag. <laughs> okay, so there's a bunch of like stuff already like here. Just out of curiosity, though, like, am I done? It almost seems like it's identical. No. Okay, I get what I got to do. This is, this sucks. Okay. Uh, all right, let's select this layer. Uh, no, I want to transform it somehow. I want to like edit transform. Yay. No, this appears to be identical. Not quite seeing the point of what I'm doing now. Control Z. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Because, like, the thing that I thought was different was layer. Was this layer, yeah. 
But no, everything looks the same. Well, now I don't see the point in this. What was it? I want to alt control T. Alt control T. What layer is this? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. There we go. Alt, Alt, Control, T. Now I'm doing it right. Okay. I don't see a difference. At all. Okay. Let me try this though. It just made it darker. Um, Matt. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a hint out of confusion here. Oh my God, be sure to listen carefully. What? I don't understand anything right now. Cause this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this layer and I'm just gonna look at this freaking puzzle that I have here, cause it's done. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna decode stuff. It does look like something's broken here, but there's nothing on that layer, right? This Which layer is that? No, that's not the layer I want right now. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't continue on that layer. Uh, is this dot .com? Oh, I bet it's bro. Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it now. I 100% get it now. Okay. Zoom out, please. I'm not supposed to put it back together. Not what I want. Not what I wanted. I want this layer. Control, Alt, T. Putting it back together does nothing for me. But if I take the parts I'm having trouble reading and put them together, then we'll be in good shape. God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Control, Alt, T. Make it so it's flat. Nice. I don't even have to do the other one because I freaking see it already. Uh, so get rid of that so I can see, please. All right, let's bring up the alphabet. Bringing up the alphabet. All right, things are good. Alphabet, put that there. Okay, what do we got here? U, N, Un, T, So the U, N, N, did I miss an R? I did, unturn, stone. What do you know? 
on turn no stone. Dot com. I assumed. E N O T S O N N R turnostone.com. Again, great. Great. Get out of here. I don't give a shit about you now. I've chosen this layer. Control Alt T. I'm legitimately mad at myself that I couldn't figure that out. No, I still want to see it. <laughs> we'll see. Move back, please. I choose this layer. This is so much better than GIMP. And I'm running low on time, so this will probably be where I sign off, which is a bummer because the next gate's going to open and I'm not going to be ready for it. All right, so it looks like I'm looking for something at... between those times in this video. Bendy Eddie explained, and then something. <clears throat> this is the one. What was the time codes? 27 to 40, 27 to 40. Okay, just real quick. What are some of the letters we're looking at here? It looks like it's one big fucking word one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen there's it's an 18 letter word Looking at this very carefully. The game's right, where you need a special lens to see our hidden message. This is too far, though. Yeah, it's before this. It's because it's 27 to 40. That's where it ends. This is the end of... Is it just Bendy in the Ink Machine? I don't think so, right? B E N D Y. Yeah, that E doesn't make sense. I'm going to look at the clue again because I'm pissed off and annoyed. That's where I am. 
be sure to listen carefully and read the captions. That's what I'm doing. I don't know what it's asking of me. I watched to the end because this is the end of Bendy and the Ink Machine. I'm fucking clueless, Matt. Bendy's tragic ending? Is that what it is? B E N. All right, hold on. Go back to it. Is it Mindless Ink Monster? I think it's Mindless Ink Monster. <laughs> All right. Unturnnostone.com slash Mindless Ink Monster. This is a little too blank. Let me view the page source of this because I'm suspicious. All right, let's uh, let's download it and see what's up. WF one, okay. Go into this. Get rid of this because I don't give a shit. Don't give a shit about that one. Um, file, open. In my downloads. Don't look at my downloads. <laughs> WF1. There it is. Very interesting. Let's get rid of this. Weird. Very weird. And locked for some reason. Um, let's get rid of the ink here. Can I like, can I move this shit around? Man, they are not, he's not giving me any information. I gotta go, so I'm just gonna check this last hint and roll out for the day. Wait, you're just saying he wasn't? That he's just some old man in his kitchen? And Bendy is this? Oh. Oh, but Matt, I've gotten that far. Uh-oh. 
Was the key supposed to be revealed at some point? Shit, I'm out of help, too, from that pat. Um, interesting. One, a two, a three. Eight. Weird. Okay, so this layer was simply just hiding these three things underneath that kind of fit together. But what do I do with it now that I've got it? I think I might have to call it for the day and really ponder this. Let, let me just hold on. This is as far as it got us. It got us to this, which has little to no information on it. Uh, the download was like W something, right? Hold on. Let me just click on this again. Yeah, it's not hex or something. WF1M. Open. From a downloads. Don't look at my downloads. <laughs> I'm slide this over here again. Downloads. WF. Let's open this in Word and see if we get anything out of this. Doesn't seem to be anything at the bottom. Those W, that, those Ys are very weird though. <laughs> like, is this, is this an ASCII image that I just can't see? Can I make it bigger? <laughs> I don't even think my computer can handle all the code I'm asking. I'm stretching it up across my screens. God. Can I like select all? <laughs> this is a huge mistake. Man, this this is giving me very little to go with. Hey, you I didn't realize you were still here. I'm sorry, I've I've had the uh the chat covered. Did you get the Diploma by for beating not prawn. I have not beaten not prawn. I got up to level 79 and they asked me to stop. Uh, but they've since given me permission to continue, so I will be continuing soon. Uh, there are words on the ink. I mean on the black circles. Yeah, you are correct, sir. Uh, I'm guessing we put these back together. We do this, and then we choose this layer. We do this. Ah, you're right. I couldn't see them before, but they're definitely there. Oopsie. Just 
going to try to get them all on that line. There we go. This way they're all nicely dead center. There it is. Okay. Let's, I guess, zoom in a little. These need to be rotated. Uh, can I, like... I can choose multiple ones. Now, can I like edit the color here or something so I can make this viewable for me? And I change the language to English. Image adjustments. Yeah, this isn't doing jack for me. I want, like, I gotta lighten it or darken it or something. Uh, image, adjustments, brightness. Hey, there we go. There's unturnedstone.com again. Actually, it was helpful, too. All right, there we go. Do that. Actually, turn the brightness down a smidge. And we use the negative contrast here to really... All right. It's. I was really hoping that would affect all the layers, but it only seems to be helping this one. Uh, Control-Alt-T. Please. Transform. There we go. I'm going to assume that that's like the way I want it oriented. Two. All right. Uh, image adjustments, brightness. We do this. We do this. Why is nothing happening? Seriously, why is nothing happening? I just want to... What, all right, let me try this. Move you to the top. Maybe only the top layer will let me do this. Image adjustments, brightness. It's having no goddamn effect. Why? Why isn't this doing anything? Okay. We're going to go into super squint mode, I guess, and just try... There's like a three next to it. They all have numbers. Actually, like, that looks like it's almost lined up. Let me try this. Ready? Can I transform this? Yeah, it's still, it's it's not letting me unselect. What is happening? Whoa! I have n how what? 
Did I accidentally click this? What the fuck just happened? Okay, this is selected now, all right? See how I've selected you? Transform. Why is it so... Mm. It will not let me do it. Transform. It won't let me free transform. It just won't let me. Control Z, that rotated everything. This is nothing I want. This is nothing I want. But it did select the right freaking one. Yeah, this is telling me this. I just, I need... I just want it to not... Control Alt. Whoa. Whoa. Weird. Okay, this is getting even stranger now. Select this layer. Why is it like running from me now? This. Oh, God. The selected area is empty. Hold up. Why did it make a copy? Can I transform the copy? Why is it making copies? What is happening? Guys, that's going to do it for me today. I've had quite enough of this. Uh, I, I see exactly what I need to do. I just can't make it do it. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll be on later tonight <laughs> or something like that. Maybe I'll do it in my spare time. Because the whole point of this is, let's go back to the gates. We got to be good to go in 22 and a half hours. So that's like 3 o'clock tomorrow? I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. But it's 5.30, so I need to stop. So thank you so much for watching and watching me get super frustrated with this. I just really hurt myself. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe uh, on YouTube. And also to uh, join me here live on Twitch. Hopefully, when gate seven opens. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Boop.